Hey buddies, quick question. How do you think you'd survive a nuclear war? Dig a hole in your backyard? Stock up on canned beans and Netflix? Yeah, me neither. But guess what? There are movies out there that show just how terrifyingly real that situation could get. And today, we're diving into five nuclear war movies you absolutely need to watch. Whether you love thrills or just want to add potentially doom to your mood board, I got you. All right, so nuclear war. Not the most uplifting topic, but honestly, these movies hit differently. They're intense, dramatic, and will make you rethink your whole I'll survive an apocalypse strategy. Let's kick it off with movie number one. Okay, starting strong with an oldie, but a goodie. Panic in Year Zero. Follows this family try to survive after a nuclear attack hits LA. Spoiler alert, it's not a family road trip with pit stops at McDonald's. It's like every dad's survivalist dream, minus the camping gear. Imagine Leave it to Beaver meets Mad Max. It's got that classic 60s vibe, but the panic and chaos feel surprisingly modern. And it gives you a glimpse of what people would do when everything falls apart. Plus, the dad in this movie has serious, I told you so energy. Yes, yeah, some of it feels a bit dated. The dialogue, a little cringy, but hey, it's a 60s movie, cut it some slack. All right. Next up, if you're looking for a slow burn that'll leave you emotionally wrecked, look no further than Testament. This one's not about explosions and chaos. It's about the quiet, tragic aftermath. It's centered around a suburban family just trying to cope after a nuclear attack devastates the world. This movie makes you feel everything. It's raw, emotional, and shows the true cost of nuclear war, especially on the people who aren't even fighting. It's like getting punched in the gut, but in a thought-provoking, I need a tissue kind of way. It's not exactly action-packed. So, if you're expecting blockbuster thrills, this ain't it. But if you want to be deeply moved and maybe cry a little, Testament is the one. Ah, uh, the day after. This movie legit scared the crap out of people when it aired. Like people called up their therapists after watching. It's about what happens to a small Kansas town when a nuclear war breaks out. Fun fact. It's one of the most watched TV movies in history, which probably explains why the 80s were so paranoid. It's straight up terrifying, but in a this could actually happen kind of way. It doesn't shy away from showing you the full horror of nuclear fallout. This one's a heavy hitter and it'll stick with you for a while. The special effects are, well, they scream 80s. Also, the pacing is slow at times, but hey, if you can survive watching it, maybe you could survive a nuclear war ever been on a road trip where everyone's nerves are shot and you just want to get home? Now imagine that, but on a Navy ship with nukes involved. The Bedford incident is all about a tense standoff between a US destroyer and a Soviet sub. Spoiler, things don't end well. This movie is pure tension. It's like watching a pot of water boil, but knowing it's actually going to explode. It's all about the psychological drama and the acting is top notch. It'll have you on the edge of your seat, biting your nails like you're about to accidentally launch a missile. It's more of a slow burn, so if you're looking for something more action-packed, you might get a little antsy waiting for the big moment. But trust me, when it comes, it's worth it. All right, saving the darkest for last. Threads is British, so you know it's gonna be bleak. This movie doesn't hold back. It's about a nuclear attack on the UK and how society completely breaks down afterward. Warning, this is one of the most disturbing movies you'll ever see. If you want to see the most realistic portrayal of what nuclear war could do to humanity, this is it. It's pretty raw and incredibly terrifying. Threads makes the day after look like a cozy bedtime story. It's intense, but if you're into movies that make you question your entire existence, this is a must watch. It's not for the faint hearted. Seriously, if you're in the mood for something uplifting, Threads is not the vibe. But if you're ready for a gut-wrenching experience that'll stick with you forever, go for it. So, there you have it. Five nuclear war movies that will either keep you up at night or make you feel way more prepared for the end of the world. Either way, you're in for a wild ride. Which one are you watching first? Or are you binging all five? Let me know in the comments. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time,